Welcome, hi, I'm Dr. Carl Steak, and you've tuned in to another episode of Sunday Night Live here with Lipimesis.com. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Carl Steak, and I specialize in the removal of cysts and lipomas, benign skin growths that do seem to plague almost anyone and everyone. Um, small growths that can appear anywhere from the top of your head right down to the bottom of your feet. Uh, so if you're watching the channel and you're thinking this is something that you may suffer from and would like treatment, then please reach out to us at lipemesis.com. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Welcome. Sunday Night Live is where we showcase some of the work we've carried out at the clinic. Uh, we watch it together. And so I get to take questions from our viewers from around the world, as well as do shout outs. Uh, and we'll talk through the videos as we go through them. Remember, the videos can be a little bit graphic, so if you're a little bit squeamish, then look away now. So it is now, what is it, the 12th of December. We're just almost just over a week away from Christmas. I hope everybody is safe and well, uh, and you've got all your festivities ready. So with no further delay, let's crack on. Let's see who we've got in house and what video we've got first for all of us. Let us me uh, let me put myself up in the corner. What I've decided to do today is go for a a theme. So we're going to go for back cysts. And there's one particular back cyst that kind of <laughs> goes all over me. Uh, so that's to come as well. Remember, if you've got questions, put them in the chat box there uh, in big capital letters. And I'll try and get to them as soon as we can. So with no further delay, let's crack on. Let's take a look at our first video. Let's uh, shrink my, uh, my camera a little bit. Ah, oh, what do we have here? It's almost got, uh, it's very tight, it's very small, uh, but it's almost got a, um, it's almost got like a like a punctum or something, like a, a little head to it. Let's see if we can get this a little bit bigger. Hit the screen. That's a bit better. A wonderful uh, charitable donations coming in from uh, Joanne. Uh, Bamonte, thank you so much uh, for the children. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll put out some Christmas um, sweets for all the kids who come to the clinic. Uh, thank you so much, Joanne, for supporting the channel. That's very generous of you. Wishing you and your family a very happy Christmas and New Year. So we've got the anaesthetic going in. So a shot of the good old uh, pain numbing serum works like magic. Let's shrink my, let's put myself down here. What should I put over here? There we go. In front of the logo. All right, let's see who we have in in the house. Who's watching today? So we've got Bonnie Wright from North Carolina. Welcome. Evelyn Schmidt. Welcome. Sandra Kaywood. Welcome. Wishing everybody a healthy holiday and a new year. And it says it gone in. We're just testing for pain as we make the first incision just across the punctum. A lot of people you'll see online have different ways of removing these particular cysts. I noticed that some particular individuals like to do a punch biopsy over the punctum, thinking that will make sure the cyst doesn't come back. But actually, I, it doesn't make, I don't believe it makes a difference. I think you've got to get the cyst out. And if you take a punch biopsy, then, and those of you who don't know what a punch biopsy is, it's basically a circular ring of, of a blade typically about four millimeters in diameter so it's a substantial whack and it kind of goes in like an apple core and takes out the the skin as well as a column of tissue that underlies it and so ultimately you lose that four cents four millimeter um, circle of skin i'm not particularly keen on doing punch biopsies when it comes to cysts unless they're very very small uh, i prefer to open it like you're seeing today making the cut separating the skin and then going for it. Uh, but I know that some, some stations would do a, a punch biopsy. I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it's the right way to do it. Uh, this is really the way to do it. It's to separate the skin through the facial planes, go through the different layers uh, using some blunt dissection. Less trauma is uh, what you want. And obviously, you don't get any of that skin defect. You don't lose the skin. And skin is so precious. Why chop it away? So there we go. That's my talk on... Uh, a good old punch. Uh, so what do we have here? Sarah says, I love punch biopsies. They look cool. 
Okay, we'll try and show them online for you. Laura Cavello says, hi from Cleveland in Georgia. Welcome. Isabel, question, why does the stuff have a variety of color and texture? Isabel, that's a question I've been searching for the answer myself. Well, we know one thing that um, if it's infected, it's gooey, it's green, it's pussy, it's bloodstained. So we know that for certain, right? But I guess your question is, why does this cyst, which is relatively dry, it's not infected, why does it have um, a white color? Well, in other videos, we've seen a gray, flaky texture. I guess, you know, that's the, that's the beauty of cysts. You never know what you're going to get inside. Cysts are like a box of chocolates, as we once described. Here it goes. Absolutely. Cysts coming out. Rachel Cosser from South of Ireland. Welcome. Louise, welcome. She's saying hi. That's Louise Kim Slater from Canada. What's the temperature like in Canada? Let me know. Put it in. What's the temperature wherever you are in the world? We've had a couple of uh, particularly cold days in the United Kingdom, but uh, today has actually been quite mild, surprisingly. Uh, third time from Boonville, Missouri. Welcome. Katie Lou, welcome. Isabel Gramer, welcome. Kim from uh, Kim Sieberling from where are you from, Kim? Let me know. Now let's scroll right up to the top. Sidji thinks this is cool. Thanks, Sidji, for sending us some wonderful cupcakes. If you want to see the cupcakes that we received from Sidji, then check out the uh, YouTube stories. We've got some beautiful little cupcakes for the clinic. I think we all tucked in. I think they're all gone within 10 minutes. Uh, they were absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Sid, for that. Very generous of you. Five degrees in Ontario in Canada. Ooh, that is chilly. Any snow? Uh, Kim's from Iowa. Thank you, Kim. Reinhold from Bavaria. Guten Tag, Reinhold. Forget. Uh, Sula Lally from United Kingdom. Loving a box of chocolates. Chris Beanman saying in Arizona and Phoenix is 71 degrees. 71. Wouldn't mind a bit of 71 here in the United Kingdom. 45 degrees in New York. Getting a bit chilly. From uh, Zaragoza from Spain, Isabella, hola, Espanol, welcome. Camila from Puerto Rico, welcome. Eliza, hi, Dottoro, welcome, hola. QA from Fort Texas, welcome. Barbara from Canada, it's two degrees and it's getting chilly. It's getting, to, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> I have to admit, talk about Christmas, I must, oh, sister's out, that's good. Welcome, Carol from Washington State, Louise, 17 degrees. Uh, Chris. Uh, Christina Rutherford from Auckland. It's muggy and it's threatening to rain. Is it getting a bit subtropical in the Auckland? Well, I hope you're safe and well. Cyst is out, by the way, if you've missed that. Cyst is now popped out of the sack. Wow. It's like a like a crater. It's like one of those um, sinkholes you get. I'm being very generous here. I've put in a subcuticular stitch using a 5 vicro proline, sorry. You can tell it's a, it's a non-dissolvable because it's got that shiny plastic look to it. I'm just going to pitch that nicely together. Sandra Kaywood is asking for advice. She believes what she thinks is a ganglion cyst on the thumb knuckles. It's dry and gets painful. Should she remove it? It's a good question. Should or should you not seek um, removal of a ganglion? Well, it all depends on, I think, how much symptoms you're suffering. So if you're suffering from pain, restricted movement, if it's reducing the activities that you're doing, then certainly do so. But if it's not, then do you really want to undergo potential hand surgery under general anaesthetic? Would you rather consider maybe a, a, an ultrasound guided aspiration of the fluid? But we know that they do grow back, they do refill. So I think if it's not causing too much of an issue, then you might want to just watch and wait. But if it's causing you trouble, then it might be something worth treating. I'll leave that with you. But those are my thoughts. I hope they were useful. Sandra. Uh, any more questions? Put them in capital so I can see them. We're just stitching the skin as we go. Fiona, uh, you've just covered this. But can you get a cyst in the eye? Well, you certainly can get cysts around the eye. So the most common ones are styes, obviously, or a shalazian or a mabian cyst, and they are on the eyelid itself, just on the sort of the, the wet side of the uh, eyelid. And we have lots of glands all over the skin, particularly the eye. Oh, and the cyst is finished. So there we go. So that one's finished. So we're going to talk about eye cysts. But while we do that, let's load up the third video on backs for today. Let's close this one. 
OMG, it's big. Okay, that's a big one. <clears throat> so yeah, you can get cysts on the eye. You know, I hope I hope that was uh, was useful. If there are any particular questions you wanted about eye cysts, let me know. Uh, so who else do we have here? Why is suction never used to uh, empty out a cyst? That's Douglas Elliott. Why not use suction? Well, often it's not. I mean, suction's very good for fluid. You know, you've got a straw, you can suck out the fluid. This isn't a fluid state. It's like a jelly, sort of almost semi-solid state. So suction wouldn't work for it. You just can't, you know, you just can't vacuum uh, this stuff up. Um, and secondly, the the key part of doing cyst surgery is to get the cyst out. And if you don't get the cyst out, then invariably it will grow back. And there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to suck the cyst out. You need to gently manipulate it out of, um, let me move that back there. You need to delic delicately maneuver the sac out of the body so you can't you can't use suction on it. So there we go, hope that uh, that helps. Uh, let's have some more questions. Uh, Janice in Newlands put one in. If you remove the cyst like was mentioned, will you lose the lubrication for that joint? I think you're talking about the ganglion. Uh, yeah, potentially. The, you know, there's all sorts of risks with surgery on uh, on on ganglions and joints in particular. Let's have a look. Who else is in the house? Is it safe to pluck a hair from the mole on your face, Marilyn Brooks? Yeah, I should think so. I think so. Yeah. It's, it's getting a bit confusing here because this guy's got quite a muscular back, and I'm not sure if I'm looking at the cyst or his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're on to the cyst. That's good. Katie's happy to have finally made the live chat. Welcome, Katie. If anyone's here for the first time, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Who's ready for Christmas? If you're if you're ready for Christmas, give me a yes. If you're not ready for Christmas, give me a no. Put them in the pot. So let's have a look. Let's see how everyone's getting on with getting ready for Christmas. What are you going to do for Christmas? Are you going to be watching Sunday Night Live? Are you going to be having a family meal? Let's scroll right up to the top. Let's see if we've missed anyone. So, let's scroll. Some questions. First incision is being made. Anesthetic is magic, isn't it? There's no blood here at all. Absolutely, Kelly. Hit the like button. Get everybody's support. Are you going to get up and spin around for the sweater? I, I think you can see it. It's a lovely, little warm, cosy sweater. Is there any evidence um, about the respiratory infection with more skin infections? Says Rhonda Thomas Clark. No, uh, I, there isn't. There isn't. Living in a blue state, it's hard to uh, be in a Christmas spirit. That's Andrea Capo. What, what is a blue state? Can someone explain that to me? Here in the United Kingdom, I'm not familiar with that phrase, but I'd love to learn. Let me know, Andrea. A lot of people ready, a lot of people know. Belinda, not ready. What's going on? Going to Australia, staying in Germany. Tough Christmas, a lot of people. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Barbara, definitely. So, Sid is going to be watching Sunday Night Live with the family over the meal, Christmas meal. That's dedication. <laughs> Let's have a look. What are the dates going to be over the Christmas period? That was quite a juicy cyst that just came out. It's Boxing Day. It's going to be a Boxing Day special. So, you, I mean, you could argue this is a semi-fluid content could it be could it be suctioned i don't know i mean also suctioning equipment is quite big you know if you think of your hoover you know you need that you know you need good suction energy and you've got pipe work and plumbing it's all a bit too much for assist you wouldn't you wouldn't want to have all that equipment for this sandra goody from enfield united kingdom welcome uh 
Ah, Andreas explains to me, blue state is a democratic state and they're starting with mask mandates due to the rise of COVID. Make sure you get your vaccines, everybody. Stay safe. Sack is now coming out. Kelly says uh, she's not having family over for Christmas. Her kids won't talk to her. Two of her grandsons live in Florida and uh, her daughter won't let her see the children. So Christmas is going to be tough. Well, Kelly, you've got us. It's not all bad news. You've got great cysts, great company. Again, catch me for Boxing Day. So there we go. If you're spending Christmas with your family, make sure you, you, you enjoy the precious time together. If you're spending it alone, you're, not ever, you're never alone. You've always got your cysts. You've got your cysts family. You've got friends. Everyone's around. So just make sure, you know, you're happy. You're enjoying yourself. Look after yourselves. Don't get yourselves too down exercise uh joyce um bauer says hi mary ann welcome butterfly girl uh don't want to leave my state just pray for the tornado that took our uh, several lives uh, dreadful news about the tornado um i saw the horrific pictures coming through on television absolutely, absolutely shocking stay safe if you're affected by that in the states Paul wants to uh, cheer up everybody. He's got a joke. He's got a dad joke. Do you know what your pimple does when you're asleep? Not really. They just zit. They just zit there. <laughs> it's not bad, Paul. I like it. It's a good joke. If you've got any more uh, zit or pimple cysts or lipoma cysts, heck, if you've got any jokes, I want to hear it. I want the best joke between the viewers. Put it in. We'll read it out. Marsha Cozy is two degrees. Ouch. Really delicately trying to get that sack out. A lot of fascia just tucked in. Terry loves large birthdays and exchanging gifts. Amazing. Their channel says, this is disgusting. What the hell? <laughs> well, it's it's all about getting the sack out. You know, just gently plying away the fascia. And then, before you know it, bingo. Sister's out. How about that? CG reminding us that everybody still needs to get the flu shot, even though you've had COVID vaccination. Absolutely. So seasonal influenza is different from seasonal COVID. So you've got to have those two separate vaccinations. So if you've done really well getting your COVID vaccination, don't forget to get your flu vaccination as well. And if you're eligible, your pneumococcal vaccine and your shingles vaccine as well. Do steroids stop a cyst from bleeding? Well, it would, um, Janice, if it was infected, well, if it's inflamed, but I often don't inject cysts with steroids. I'd rather take them out because what ends up happening when you inject it, it just kind of eats away the material and it makes it very difficult to then go back in at a later date and get those cysts out. Aretha Denar asks, Do, does having more muscle mean that you're going to have more f uh, fascia to separate the tissue? Potentially. I can't see why not. Uh, do trees poop, says uh, Sherry. Yes. Where do you think you get the pencils? I don't get it. <laughs> it's lost on me. Uh, So get the sack uh, out and then stitched over. Jane Stevens asks, why does this not grow throughout? 
but earwax removal does. It's a it's a question that's going to plague humanity for a long time. Oh, it's me. <laughs> rarely, rarely seen in operations. Ah, oh, hello everybody. So there we go. Ah, oh, that's uh, okay. It's my nose. There, okay, cyst is out. Skin is being closed up. Turkey's in the oven. We're almost set for Christmas. How about that? Bit of a late start today. Apologies. Um, I needed to reinstall the software that does the live streaming. Sometimes it just catches us out like this. Meredith loves the channel. She's so happy that she's watching this with us and she's grateful that we're sharing it she asks do you ever panic there's no time to panic in surgery you can't panic you just got to keep going until it's all finished if you panic you lose your concentration um, people talk about having dexterous hands for surgery but actually it's a mind game if you if you lose your mind then you lost the operation so you gotta you gotta stay focused and not panicked so there we go now for the third one is a real squirter it's gone it's gone all over me i've actually looked at it and i don't think it's aired before so you're watching it here for the first time us joint group because you are the super fans of the channel so you're going to get this squirter i haven't seen it before it's the first time i've seen it i just found it today and uh we're going to go for it should we do it all right, let's have a yes if you want to see this. Give me a yes. <clears throat> Put it in the uh, in the chat. If we get a hundred yeses, we'll hit the play button. In the meantime, let's see what questions we've got. Um, number two must be an American thing. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I got you. I got you. Uh, I don't feel bad knowing uh, that I love watching this stuff. That's Terry. Terry Swan. It's guilty pleasures. Uh, what else do we have here? You're always worth waiting for. Da Ka Catherine Carter, that's too sweet. Thank you so much. And the yeses have it. Let's crack on. It's video number three. I hope this is the right video. <laughs> knowing, knowing my luck today, it might not be, but it looks like it potentially could be. I, I wish I put myself, put myself here. Okay, so it's on the back. You can tell it's on the back. The skin is really tough. Or is it on the face? It's on the face. <laughs> it must be on the face because there's some stubble there. Okay. I love how we've filmed it so that we don't even know where the cyst is. This is, you know, no patient identifiable information whatsoever. It's just a cyst. So we've got an answer to the to the pencil joke. Uh, a number two pencil are the most commonly used. Number one pencils are too hard. We must have some other jokes. Can someone send me a joke? I want to I want to have some nice jokes tonight. Glenda Johnson says she's so happy she was able to view this tonight as the anaesthetic goes in. There we go, anaesthetic going in. Really small needle. How many uh, how many likes have we got today? It's a quiet day, isn't it? Arlene Marillo says, first time watching. And uh, she gagged her butt off. And now it doesn't even face her. I hope she's all right. Kim Parrish admits that feet and mouth videos are the grossest. She can't watch them. I agree. Absolutely gross. Okay, so anesthetic is going in here. Let's make the first incision. So, I reckon I could, I could live up here. Okay, so we pick it. So the, part of the surgery is to really kind of palpate to feel around the cyst, make sure you know where the borders are and being able to pick it up from its base is really, really important. 
because I can hold it really steady. It's kind of locked in a in a clamp. It can't get away, and you need that, especially when you want to have a steady grip onto the onto the assist. And we make the first cut. Really, really small. Just gonna make some blunt dissections there. One hundred and sixty-eight likes. Brilliant. Let's push it up to two hundred. What is it called when a priest is popping a cyst? An exorcist. Sex, Dr. Sarah. Good one. Funny. <laughs> Any more jokes? You know how to catch a wabbit? You sneak up on it. You, you wab it. Grab it, I think. I guess that's, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. I like it, Tracy. There we go. Assist. RR Pounder writes, I bought a house and found a light switch. I didn't do anything, but I got into the habit of flipping it on and off. A week later, I got an email from a woman in Germany telling me to cut it out. How bizarre. Sounds like something for Medical Mysteries. From South Africa is Ditala Mokwela. Welcome. How are you doing? That was a bit of a jump. Was not expecting that. Eeks. Cotton ball cyst. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Bit of panning out. Dr. K's been hit. <laughs> Damage is done. <laughs> oh dear. That tiny little cyst got that projectile on it. It's incredible. So cyst is finally giving up all hope of residing. Let's find a new home on my scrub top. So there we go. Cyst is being finally dissected off. How many likes? Give me a shout. Let me see. Okay, there's the cyst out in its entirety. You can see that it's really one but small bag. And once it's removed, and we use a very, very small incision, and there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. The skin is completely flat. It'll heal really well. Minimal scarring. And uh, we're going to do a subcuticular stitch. Could probably have got away with an interrupted stitch. But uh, let's see. Yeah, we could probably get a couple of one, one bite, two bites. Doc, do you ever forget doing a cyst? Um, yeah, I don't remember doing this one. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can forget them. Need a shower after that one, Nita. Absolutely. Gonna need to have a wash down for that. 211 likes for a quiet Sunday night with Dr. K. Thank you so, so much. Tiny cyst gives out a lot. Too much hard work, Dr. K. Bless your hands. God, uh, glad for the patient. Wonderful. 220 likes. Well, look, let's push it to 300 likes in the next two minutes before the show finishes. Stitch is going in. Do you know what pimples do when you're asleep? They just zip there. Sandra Goody, thanks. That's a great joke. Similar to the one that Paul showed us, shared us with us. What do cysts and people have in common? They coexist. Co co-cysts. Co-cysts? Coexist, I guess. So there we go. Another Sunday Night Live. 
with me, Dr. K. You've been a fantastic audience. Thanks for watching. Remember, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Join me next week at 8.30 Greenwich Mean Time. We're going to go through some more pops. Enjoy the shorts. They are very popular. They're growing in popularity and they're driving the channel because we hit 400,000 subscribers. That is an amazing milestone because at the start of the year, we're on 200. So we managed to double in the last 12 months. Couldn't do it without everybody watching, especially you guys who watch Sunday Night Live, the absolute pillar of the channel. So until then, stay safe and I'll catch you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.